And look at this toast. Hello everyone, it's Jasmine and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all of the books I got for my birthday. So a book birthday haul. I got some lunch, some states Dairy Queen, you can get meals and then some states you can't. But I got a chicken basket, I just got a four piece. The best toast in my opinion. I just wanted to show some of the books that I got. A lot of my friends were very kind enough to give me something. I just kind of wanted to make this video just to show the different books that I have in my TBR as well. I say thank you to a few of my friends while I eat my lunch. Hmm. I just wanted this video to be super chill. Kind of like a mukbang, mukbang, just eating and like showing some books that I got recently. So next to me, I do have my stack of books. I'm very grateful to be able to receive these for my birthday. And I'm so excited just to add a lot of these to my physical TBR. But I'm going to go ahead and just steamroll through these for you guys. The first book I purchased for myself on Amazon. This is Tell Me Lies by Carola Lovering. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. Honestly, don't really know what it's about. But I was drawn to the cover, so I wanted to buy it for myself. So let's go ahead and read the blurb together. Lucy Albright is eager for a fresh start when she arrives at her small California college and immediately embraces all that college life has to offer. New friends, wild parties, stimulating classes. And then she meets Stefan DeMarco or Steven DeMarco. Charming, attractive, complicated, devastating, confident, and cocksure. Steven sees something in Lucy that no one else has seen and she's quickly seduced by the sense of possibility that his attention brings her. Steven is determined to forget an incident buried in his past that if exposed could ruin him. This sounds very interesting. I judge a book by its cover and clearly I bought it because of the cover. I'm even more excited to read this now. Anyone wants to buddy read this with me? Let me know. So the next book I got, this wasn't really a birthday gift necessarily, but it came on my birthday month and I loved the book. So I'm going to include it here, but I got A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime by Monica Murphy. Look at how many tabs I put in this book. Five out of five stars. I loved this. Thank you so much, Monica, for sending this to me. Lancasters and just Lancaster prep in that whole universe will just have my heart forever. Bad boy, good girl, virgin heroine, enemies to lovers. He wants to like basically like corrupt her. Private school, gossip girl vibes, old money rich. This was just so good and I loved it so much. Put this on your TBRs because probably one of my favorite books that I've read so far this year. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about it, but I will go into detail on my like March reading wrap up. I read it this month and I really enjoyed it. Next, these books were gifted to me by my amazing friends. So I just wanna say, thank you guys so much and I love you all. First, I got Collided by Lauren Asher. This is the second book in the Dirty Air series. Oh my gosh, I'm excited because I read this on my Kindle. So now I'm going to take all of my annotations that I have on my Kindle and transfer it here and put it on my tabs and I'm so excited. My friend Cheyenne got this for me. She said, happy birthday month bestie. Literally the only Dirty Air book I've read but I fell in love with Sophie and Liam XOXO from Cheyenne. I'm very excited to have Liam and Sophie on my shelf. If you guys have seen my other videos, you you know that I love Liam and Sophie and how much I love this book. Friends to Lovers, Reformed Playboy, Secret Friends with Benefits, amazing. Love, love, love. So thank you so much, Shay, for gifting this to me. I love you and I appreciate our friendship so very much. And then I also got Throttled by Lauren Asher. This is from Miss Carrie. Carrie said, happiest birthday to my undercover VH Stan, LOL. That's Vinny Hack. I love you so much, Jazz, and hope you had the best day. Can't wait for November. Winky face from Carrie. So this is the first book in the Dirty Air series. It follows Noah and Maya. Me and Carrie both read it at the same time. I love the Liam and Sophie crumbs that we get in this book, so... I also cannot wait for November. For those wondering what we can't wait for, you'll see soon when it happens. Thank you so much, Carrie, for gifting this to me. I love you, I love our friendship. I can't believe that we've been friends for like a year now because I feel like I've known you forever. Next, I got a book that I am very excited to read. I got Jennifer Hill by Debney Perry. I haven't read Indigo Ridge yet, but I'm so excited because my friends Logan and Julia really, really love these two books and basically that whole universe. Ariana was kind enough to give this to me. Ariana is like my other soul. We're always in sync. Literally a carbon copy of myself. She said, happy birthday, Jasmine. To share similar thoughts on books and be on the same wavelength is so special. I can't wait till you're back in California so we can have our meetup. Love, love, love you from Ariana. 
Ariana is my aesthetic queen, so thank you so, so much. I am so excited to read this, just like the whole series in general. I feel like from the blurbs that I've read and everything, like it definitely gives me like mystic fall vibes. I literally can't wait to dig into this series. So thank you so much, Ariana. I'm so thankful for you. Love you so much. Thank you. Okay, next, I was not expecting this book to be so thick. I caught the words by Ashley Jade. Ashley Jade is one of my insta buy authors after I read the Royal Hearts Academy series. I love that series, became one of my all time favorite series ever. So whatever she comes out with, I have to read. Logan was kind enough to get this for me. Logan said, happy, happy birthday. I'm so lucky to call you my friend and to bond over the core six with you. I hope your day was as wonderful as you are from Logan. So I'm very, very excited to read this. Just from like the blurb alone. He was the talented bad boy everyone wanted. I was the relevant geek everyone hated. That are draws me in. Doesn't it draw you into the story already? I've heard such amazing things about it. So thank you so much, Logan. I love you. I love all of our Coruscant moments to where we just cry. And I hope by the time I post this video, you finish some kind of perfect because you have to. Also, happy birthday to Logan too. It was her birthday this month. The next book that I got was The Bad Boy and the Tomboy by Nicole. I'm not even going to pronounce her last name because I know I'm going to butcher it. My friend Summer got this for me. She said, happy birthday, you beautiful human. I just wanted to to gift you something to show you how much I value your friendship. Illy, I hope you love this book. Thank you so much, Summer. Summer was one of the first people I actually met on Book Talk. We both posted a lot about after and we just became instant friends after. Thank you so much, Summer. I appreciate you and I'm very excited to read this. I feel like Wattpad books, like they just hit different. Like they're full of cliches and you know, all this other stuff, but I feel like that's what really draws you into the story and what makes something so addicting. I love me a published Wattpad book. The next two books I got are from Krista. She got me Twisted Love and Twisted Game. Thank you so much, Krista. I'm very excited to read the Twisted series. I've heard really good things about it. I heard Twisted Love is like Grumpy Sunshine and Brother's Best Friend. And then I heard Twisted Games is like a bodyguard romance. So kind of forbidden. So I'm very excited to read that. With those two books came two notes. It says, happy birthday. Pisces season just started. And I'm not sure when your birthday is, but figured I'd send you something. I hope you love this book from Krista. And then happy birthday, Rice, Reese. I don't know how to pronounce the name. I feel like I've seen so many people pronounce it differently. It is just so amazing. Ahem, the gazebo scene. I hope you love Twisted Games from Krista. Thank you so much, Krista. Also, can we talk about these covers? I think these are so, so, so pretty. I am obsessed with like the aesthetic of these and just kind of like the theme that we have going on here. So I'm very thankful to be able to add these to my shelf. And Krista, you're just a gem. And literally, thank you. I can't wait to give you my thoughts and reading up updates when I pick up these books. Again, from the Twisted series, this is Twisted Hate, which is the third book by Anna Huang. And I got this from my bestie, Rose. Rose said, Jasmine, happy belated birthday, you angel. I'm so grateful to know you, and I love talking all things Core 6 with you. I hope you had the most wonderful day. Love you from Rose. Thank you so much, Rose. I love you. I love talking to you about what we're reading. I'm very excited to read some TJR books with you soon, because I know that's what we talked about. This one, I don't really know what this is about. About. I want to say that I remember it being enemies to lovers, but I don't remember I do know that Logan really really loved this and she was I believe she was an alpha reader or a beta reader I forgot which one and then I got change on the fly by Marin Moore my bestie Jew got this for me I'm so excited to read this because I just read the newspaper nanny and I loved it so much like I don't know what Marin Moore put in that but it was so good so fast paced, I loved it. So Ju said, happy birthday, Jazz. I appreciate your friendship so much and I'm so happy we met. I hope you have the best day ever. I love you so much, bestie, from Julia. So thank you so much, Julia. Thank you for adding on to my Marin Moore collection and my Marin Moore obsession. I can't wait. The thing about Marin Moore is I know I'm gonna love it because it's single dad, like hockey romance. And what's nice about her books is that they're short. They're easy to read, they're fast paced. Like I feel like I did not get bored while reading the newspaper nanny. She instantly became like, a to buy author for me. So thank you so much, Julia. I love you and thank you for being my friend and I can't wait for November. Okay, this book is kind of, I feel like out of my ordinary read, but my friend Olivia was kind enough to send me The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. She said she loved this book and there is a little bit of romance in it. So I'm very interested to see what I think about it. She said, happy birthday, Jasmine. Thank you for always being so incredibly kind and fun to talk to. This book got me into reading, one of my all time faves. Let me know your thoughts on it. I hope you enjoy 
Joy B-Day twin from Olivia. So thank you so, so much, Olivia. Happy birthday, too. Let's go ahead and read the blurb. Avery Grams has a plan for a better future. Survive high school, win a scholarship, and get out. But her luck changes in an instant when billionaire Tobias Hawthorne dies and leaves her virtually his entire fortune. The only catch? Avery must move into his sprawling mansion full of secret passages, riddles, and codes. Ooh, this sounds interesting. Unfortunately for Avery, Hawthorne House is also occupied by the family that was just disinherited. This includes the four Hawthorne grandsons, dangerous magnetic boys who grew up with every expectation that one day they would inherit billions. Heir apparent Grayson is convinced that Avery is a con woman and he's determined to take her down. But his brother Jameson views her as their grandfather's last hurrah, a twisted riddle, a puzzle to be solved. Caught in a world of wealth and privilege with danger around every turn, Avery will have to play the game herself just to survive. Okay, this sounds very interesting. I'm probably going to have to bump this up in my TBR because I like that there's a little bit of romance in here. It seems like it's gonna be a love triangle. A little bit of romance plus like that mystery aspect of it. You listening, Grandma? Mystery and romance. Yes. <laughs> my grandma and I were talking about mystery and romance yesterday, so that's why I had to bring this up to her. Thank you so much, Olivia. I'm very excited to see what I think about this just because this is a book that you got into reading and I know we have a lot in common. Thanks for messaging me and talking to me about books and just telling me your thoughts. I really enjoyed all the conversations that we've had throughout our friendship. Okay, and this is another book that I'm like really excited for. Before We Were Strangers by Renee, I think it's pronounced Carlino. Crystal got this for me. I'm very excited to read this just because I feel like it's been on my TBR forever and I've heard no one talk about it and then all of a sudden I feel like the past few months a lot of people have been talking about this. I don't know what this is about so let's go ahead and read the blurb. The green-eyed lovebird. We met 15 years ago almost to the day when I moved my stuff into the NYU dorm room next to yours at senior house. You call this fast friends. I like to think it was more. I learned more about myself that year than any other. Yet somehow it all fell apart. We lost touch the summer after graduation when I went to South America to work for the National Geographic. When I came back you were gone but would would you like to get a drink with me and catch up on the last decade and a half? Um, I think this sounds very interesting. I'm sensing a little second chance romance happening. I think Crystal said this would break me. We'll see how that goes, but thank you so much, Crystal. I'm so grateful for you. Love you so much. So thankful for our friendship, and I can't wait to hang out in Vegas. Then I got Where the Crawdads Sing. Scared. Steph got this for me and said, Happy almost birthday. So, so happy we met almost a year ago. Loved you from the day Connor Cobalt blank days till now. Have the best day and I hope you cry reading this book XX from Steph. I probably will cry because I feel like I've seen a lot of reactions to this. I've seen just a lot of reviews and I have high hopes for this. I'm very excited to read this. Honestly, I have no idea what it's about, but I feel like I'll like this. I'll enjoy the story and I'm very excited. So thank you so much, Steph. I love you and I love everything about you and I can't wait for us to meet one day. And then the last book I got was Today, Tonight, Tomorrow by Rachel Lynn Solomon. My twin Carly got this for me. She said, happy birthday, my Pisces twin. Forever grateful I met you and for our friendship. This is one of my favorites and one you definitely need to read. Send updates, love you so much from Carly. Thank you so much, Carly. I'm excited to read this because this is one of the only like academic rivals that I feel like I've seen talked about other than like Connor and Rose. I think this is going to be a really interesting and fun read. I feel like I'm gonna love this. Thank you so, so much, Carly. I love you. I can't wait for Vegas. I'm very excited to hang out. Very excited to send you my updates on this. I feel like I'm gonna love it. And that is it for today's YouTube video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to everyone who wished me a happy birthday. Whether you commented it on my picture, messaged me, or even got me a book. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. And I feel like this community definitely made my birthday feel a lot more special. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.